Hello guys, welcome to binaryicos.com. In this video, I am going to show you how to install the paint box in Backtrack and how to configure Honeypot in paint box. For this video demonstration, I am using a Backtrack machine and Windows 7 machine. Now you can also use a Kali Linux OS, use your favorite OS, it doesn't matter. So first download the paint box. For that, go to this site, paintbox. Paint box net go to the first link and this is the current version yet it's a 1.5 let's click on it and the first one is for windows system this win dot z5 14 mb and second one is dot tar file tar so download this tar file and save on your desktop i already download and save my desktop paintbox paintbox 1.5.tar now let's extract that file to extract that file first go to the directory desktop this is my file now type tar xvf and after that the file name it will extract that file and make a folder now go to that folder and i'm going to launch this file it's written in the ruby language paintbox.rb so type paintbox.rb let's enter okay it's launch for the honeypot i'm going to use the second option and honeypot is uh, is actually a trap to detect the contract attempt at unauthorized use of information system so if you are aware about uh, ethical hacking certification or the security professional penetration tester you must know about what is the honeypot so i'm not going the theory part of the honeypot because i'm going to show you how to use or uh, configure the honeypot in the paint box so 1.5 version i see right here so use a second option that is a network tool after that third option the honeypot and here is a two option the first option is for the fast auto configuration if you choose this this is auto configuration honeypot for you and the second option is manual configuration or advanced user or can contain the more option so i'm going to use the second option to manual configure the honeypot now it's asking for insert the port to open so i'm using a 23 port it's a telnet port insert a false false message to show for this example it uh said hey i'm hacker and this is honeypot whatever just yes. this is some false message press enter now it asking for to save a lock with the intrusion for this type yes y press enter and it's asking for a default name that is a log file name incremental the default directory is this law other log honeypot.txt so if you want to change your log file name you can change your log file name the log file is available on this directory in other okay so i'm going to use a default word i'm not i'm not using uh, or not, not uh, changing this file name so leaving it default so press enter now it asks for activating beep sound when intrusion so i'm not activated that sound if you want you can also use yes so every time uh, when you detect the intrusion uh, connected to the system it will sound the beep okay so honeypot is activated on port 23 on this machine I'm going to now Windows 7 system and open the telnet. Uh, if you not configure telnet or 
tailnet is by default not available in windows 7 so you need to go the control panel then programs then turn windows feature on and off and then go to the telnet client or telnet server just click check this box and click on ok so it will turn on the telnet feature on the windows 7 system so i'm going to type telnet type help and you see you can see there are uh, more options i'm going to use the second option open host okay this is uh, open host the o option and the default port is 23 you connect to the host name and default port is 23 therefore i am using a default port number 23 right here if your system is configuring another port you need to configure that port on the honeypot when you are asking for the insert a port number just configure or enter that port on the honeypot so for this i am going to type o press enter and I'm going to type the IP address of backtrack machine. So the backtrack machine IP address is is 10.1.1.20. And when it's trying to connect the backtrack machine, say it's connecting to the 10.1.1.20 you can see the message is right here the intrusion attempt detected okay from 10.1.1.10 so this IP address is your windows machine IP address windows 7 machine let's see that I type IP config this is my windows 7 machine IP address 10.1.1.10 so if you configure the honeypot you can see that uh, which operating system or which a machine is trying to connect at your port number 23 because I configure port number 23 on the honeypot so this is the use of honeypot uh, in paint box the intuition attempt detected I just press enter and you can see the message is hey I am hacker and this is honeypot that I already configure right here. Hey, I'm hacker. This is only for so this message is detected at the last, and the connection is lost. Press any key to end continue. And this log file is available in other log honeypot.txt. Okay, if you enter another file name, this file name is available right here. So let's open that file. This simple txt file and this is all log happen on your system so you can also save this file for your future purpose determine which IP address is trying to connect at your system so this is use of honeypot in paint box so this is all for this video to configure honeypot in paint box please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos and thanks for watching